Hello? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that my voice was so terrifying for you. That's just rude. Uh-huh. Hello? Anybody on the phone? Oh, wait. I'm the- I'm- I'm- I haven't even answered the phone yet. Give me a second here, okay? Let me- let me reprogram. I was a little insulted by the scream of horror that lady just gave off by me speaking. But what is up, zombie army? Welcome back into another three scary games. We are currently playing August Night, which looks really cool. And it is apparently four. I don't know if that's in the morning or at night. This is so cool, though. Hello? Whoa, handprint. Oh. Sounds like he's been going up Mount Everest. You okay there, buddy? Gotta work on your breathing skills. Honestly. Wobbly-wobbly. Oh. Hello? Oh. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Oh. Thanks for asking. Interested. My wife is apparently crying for some reason. Oh, goody. She's crying in the bathroom. I'm sorry! I'm sorry for calling you an alien! Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oops. I'm sorry! Okay. Well, um, lesson learned. Don't call your wife an alien while they're in the bathtub. I get really pissed off of that, apparently. Something I did not know. Huh. Oh no. <gasps> Cockroaches! They're everywhere! Oh god, they actually are everywhere. That is gross. Ew! 
Stop falling from the ceiling. Again, here is a lesson you guys need to learn. Never call your wife an alien when they're in the shower because, or the bathtub because apparently when you do that, it's insulting and then they go all crazy. They start coming out of TVs and then they just send a bunch of cockroaches to your house. So that's, that's the lesson we learned today. <laughs> that was actually really good. That was pretty terrifying. Um... I really like that. I, I really like that. That was really good. But let's get right into the next game. Okay, we made it into our second game, which is Stay Inside. Let's get right into it. Or apparently, ooh, this is really cool. I love, I love the um, older style. I'm not a huge fan of like older games, but I do like the style of it. I used to not like it, but then I played a couple of games and especially when you're playing horror games like this, it's really cool. But um, apparently we're like a little kid who's home alone. And I feel like we shouldn't be... Uh... This is a huge bedroom for us with a... Holy crap, a big screen TV. Look at that. But let's go get food. Oh, that's a dark, creepy hallway. Mom! Where'd you leave the food? Why is the why, why is the hallway like this? I chose right. Ma'am, your dad and I are at the hospital. We will come tomorrow. You are not allowed to go out at night because a lot of kids disappeared in this neighborhood. I left you some soup on the table. To okay, that's just rude to just tell me that. Like, seriously. Clean the trash on the couch. Give water to the plant. But honestly, that's just rude. Um, that they would leave us alone. And then tell us that there have been a bunch of kids who have disappeared. So, you know, good luck! <laughs> Alright, let's go back to bed. Whoa! I don't know. Going straight to my room. Uh oh. Why did the light turn off? Should I, ch I should check the fuse. You know what? Let's just go to bed. I'm sure everything is fine. Oh. Oh, we got the good ending! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I love that. That's actually so good. Alright, let's try that again. I, uh, oh! Was there la that there last time? Oh, that's creepy. I didn't see that last time. Okay. Oh, so I love the fact that the sound is literally like Minecraft eating. That's so beautiful. <laughs> ah, so beautiful. I love that. Alright, well that was creepy. Hmm. How did I not see that the first time?
Hello? Okay, bye! Huh. I'm sure this is safe, right? not safe it, it was not safe oh that's so creepy interesting I actually really liked that that was cool I wish there was a little bit more jump scares but I liked it it was it was really well done but let's get right into the next game okay guys we have made it into decadence this looks really good I think it's kind of Actually, I'm not quite sure what we're going to go into with it. I don't know what style of gameplay it is, but it looks really good. And I, Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. The only thing I was thinking of is it kind of reminds me of Visage, which I always love. I don't like comparing games to other games, but it... it genuinely does look like it like a lot of these kinds of games look like it and it's super super cool is that a person oh that is a person okay cool oh my gosh this is like an older house June 12, 1986 was our anniversary. Okay, yeah, no, this is definitely giving off... Oh, is that a handprint? This is giving off the 80s 100%. Holy crap. Look at, like, even, like, the Ronald McDonald magnet and the Ghostbuster magnet. Oh, my God, I love that so much. Hi, Dean. Long time. No talk. How's the newlywed life treating you? I've been missing you too and figured out it's about time we caught up. So here I am penning this letter in the hopes of reconnecting and maybe even convincing you to pay your dear old mom a visit. I hope you and Anita have been settling well in your new apartment. It saddens me that you guys are so far away, but I'm sure this move was the best decision for you too. Don't forget that the secret of long marriage is to treat your wife right. Uh, you can focus on your career, but don't forget that your priority should always be to provide for your family. Speaking of your father and I, can't wait for you to give us grandchildren. Don't keep us waiting too long. Life is too short to keep us separated. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Oh, okay. So where are the plates, then? Cool. Okay. Hello? Also, it is a little framey, guys. Sorry about that. Hello? This is so cool. I can't seem to find my ring. Can you find it and place it next to my jewelry box? Again, honey? You keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. Alright. Thank you, Dean. I'll be home soon. Sounds good. I am slightly concerned about whatever is on that um, wall. I mean, this is honestly such a cool house. I I absolutely love it. Where did she put that ring? Hmm. Oh. Oh, 
did she put that ring? That was... Oh, there it is. This is a really cool model of, like, an 80 house. I love it. Oh. Hello? Oh. What the? This is the second time this week. <gasps> I have to clean this up before she gets home. Oh, no. my key. Can you unlock the back door for me? Why is there a back door? Oh. Oh no. What the fuck? What the Oh no. in the world why is it different oh look it's all nice and clean again look at that how convenient wait it's a little bit different don't forget to take out the trash okay Hello? Anita? Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. Oh, sorry. What mess? <sighs> Fine. Give me a second. The one book, really? Two books, three books. Wow. Are we really this uh, finicky? Go. I think I can go for some fresh air. That doesn't look good. That does not look good at all. Oh, that also doesn't look good. What was that? Can you check it out? Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, look through the peephole. <gasps> oh! That's... Okay. That's terrifying. Oh, boy. Oh, and this is getting bigger, too. Oh, boy. Okay. Interesting. Slowly it's starting to turn into a little bit more of a pigsty. Or a big pigsty. Did we murder our wife? There's some like antidepressant pills. Interesting. She likes to see her gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. Dear Dean, I hope this letter finds you well and that you are finding the strength to keep your head up after these last couple of days. I wanted to write to you today because I'm very concerned about your well-being, especially of this traumatic event. I cannot feel your pain as much as you do, but please be aware that I'm here for you as a friend and someone who can you can lean on. I have not heard from you lately. I worry that you are struggling to cope with everything. Um... Okay, I'm going to assume that his wife died. Which is really sad. AKA Anita died. Or we murdered her. And now we're dealing with the guilt of murdering her. Which is also a possibility. Uh... 
I wasn't paying attention. What am I supposed to do? Oh, hide it. Oh, God. Anita, are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Come out here and talk to me. Let's finish talking. Open the damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. Oh no. What the hell? I swear, Annie was here. I, I heard her. Yeah, no, we heard her too. Oh, fudge sticks. Everything's fine. See, she's no longer there. We hope this letter finds you well. We are writing to address the matter that has come to our attention regarding your recent absence from work for six days. The prior notice or explanation. Um, okay, so he's missing work. Oh. Yeah, sons and funeral services. So we know that she's dead. Oh god, and then it's piling up with more beer and stuff like that. We should maybe keep the TV on cuz it actually brought in a lot of light. And then obviously the kitchen's getting more sloppy as dishes pile up because he is Whoop, oh, what the heck? I don't think I meant to do this. My bad. Okay. Well, if I ever need to get away from her, then I can just do that. Oh. Moving day? What do you mean moving day? We took this picture when we f first moved here. Oh. Interesting. That's a really cool way to do that. That's just rude. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, that actually scared me. That one actually scared me. Holy crap. I hope this letter finds you and your family in good health. Uh, reschedule meeting at earliest convenience. Your attorney. Oh, goodness. Oh god. Okay. Well, this isn't good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's go towards the red light. Nothing can go wrong, right? Oh boy. Oh, what the fudge? Okay. Shall I marry you? Oh no. 
You look as beautiful as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Alita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death could do us part. I'm sorry, what? Wow, that was really good. That was really creepy. I love that though. That was really cool concept. So from my under my assumption, because obviously, you know, but I'm assuming that she probably either died or he murdered her. Um, obviously she did die, but he is not letting her corpse go because they will be forever together kind of thing, which is kind of weird when you think about it that way. Um, but that was actually really good. That was creepy. That was, uh, almond, like, yeah, very creepy. V very, very well done. But guys, that was the ending of three scary games. I hope you enjoyed yet another one. And I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye!